Thank you so much, Bill. I am with Demarcus Tank Lawrence coming off a very strong week one for yourself. Mm -hmm. We'll get to that in a minute, but first of all, it's a brand new season and you have really been the ringleader of bringing together the defensive line. What's been the process behind that? Uh, I can say it's been positive, you know, just seeing these guys working on um, becoming not just the football players, but the men they, they are becoming. Um, it's just great to watch. Now we got to go out there and, you know, put in more work and uh, when the opportunity presents itself, go out there and put up, put up our numbers. Okay, a sack for you, mm -hmm. seven tackles. You're coming off a year where the first seven games last year you had a sack. Right. You're obviously capitalizing on that early. What's, what's that like for you going into week two? Uh, I mean, it's, it's still a lot of work to be done, you know. Uh, we got to get better up front, not just me, you know, getting sacks. All, all of us have to get sacks in order for us to be successful. Uh, just looking at this year differently, you know, uh, and more as, as a leader and seeing these guys, you know, follow behind me, um, it means a lot. So I, I really have to step up and, you know, uh, be better than, you know, the first seven games. Okay, so your quote of the week was, sacks don't matter if you don't win following right. the loss in Carolina. And I know you guys don't listen to the outside noise, but mm -hmm. everyone on my side of things is talking about how your group was the strongest performance on Sunday. Right. This week against the Giants, you know Eli well. You've played him a lot, twice mm -hmm. a year. What does he do well? Uh, Eli is a, a good um, pocket quarterback. You know, he likes to stay in the pocket, look down his targets. Uh, but the main thing about him is, you know, once you start to get pressure on him, he starts to get a little timid. So um, we, we got to go out there and, you know, make sure we start early and, and fast putting that pressure on him, mm -hmm. made daylight evaporate. Make daylight evaporate. I love that. So Giants offensive line kind of beat up and we've got one guy who's returning. Mm -hmm. What's the plan there to capitalize on that early? I mean, it's, it's looking tough right now. Everybody's beat up. Um, we just got to go ahead and stick to our game plan and get after them. Okay. Uh, earlier this week, you had an event on Monday, a mm -hmm. main event, and you stay extremely busy. Monday is your only day off, right. day off during the season. So yeah. tell us about that and, and why that's so important to you. Oh, yes. Um, just to be able to have that opportunity, I mean, after a hard, you know, fought loss, uh, it was already in my plans, you know, to go, to go out and visit the kids, you know, win, lose, or draw. Um, you know, it was something very important to me. A bike company, you know, gave me some free bikes, so I had that opportunity to present the kids with bikes and, you know, backpacks um, for school, and you know, it was a great turnout. Okay, so bikes, do you still ride your bike to work? Oh, absolutely, every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, defensive mm -hmm. linemen get together, and you got, how long does it take you? Oh, about 30 minutes. Not too many miles, though? Uh, it's about five. Five miles. Yeah, it's good for you. 30 minute bike ride. So yeah, maybe follow you on Instagram if they want to oh, see yeah. any of that. Okay. Yeah. Tune Come, in. Tune Tuesday. in Tuesdays for the bike ride. Thank you so much for All your right. time. Good luck Thank this you. weekend. Bill, back to you.